Now, Kyle and Lauren, one might ask why you're really here today. Why lock yourselves into some old institutional uh, thing that any headline or reality show would say is destined for failure anyways? Well, I think it's because you both desire something more, more than all the safety your home, your cars, and your jobs or your friends could ever provide you. You desire the safety of one another. You desire the confidence of a covenant that is unbreakable. That's why you've chosen marriage, and that's why you're standing here today. Here we are, and what a special, special day it is. Kyle, Lauren, contrary to what your parents may have told you growing up, today the world really does revolve around you. Now, we're here to celebrate marriage, the one relationship on earth that God has created to most closely resemble the loving relationship He desires to have with His people. Marriage is one of God's greatest gifts to us, one that allows the opportunity for life to be shared at its deepest, richest, purest levels. We're surrounded by so much beauty today. The dresses, the flowers, the people who are here, and the memories of those who aren't. But God, all of that pales in comparison to the beauty of your love for us. So may this ceremony be sealed in Kyle and Lauren's hearts as they come before you to be made one. Suzanne Bunn, you are the love of my life. You've made me happier than I've ever thought possible. Not only do you make me happy, but you make me a better person. You're the reason I believe in true love. You're the reason I never want to give up, and you're the reason I want to be a better man. Kyle, our story isn't traditional, but it's ours, and I wouldn't change a single detail because it led me to today, the happiest day of my life. As your wife, I will never stop discovering ways to show you love. Thank you for taking care of and protecting my heart. Thank you for believing in us and the life we can build together since day one. From this day forward, it is no longer me, it's us. I promise to be yours forever, for eternity, and until death do us part. I love you. Lastly and most importantly, I vow to always love you more. You are everything I hoped for and nothing I expected. I love you fiercely and boldly. 
by the authority given to me through Jesus Christ in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. Bring the thunder and scream until your lungs get sore for Mr. and Mrs. Heslow! And one night, I remember waking up to a text message of just all it said was, I'm going to marry Lauren. <laughs> it truly makes me happy to see that you two found each other, and I hope that you have a life full of love and understanding. They say a soulmate is like a best friend, but more. The one person in the world who knows you better than anyone else. Someone you carry with you, who knew you, accepted you, and believed in you before anyone else. I wholeheartedly believe that Lauren met her soulmate 27 years ago when I was born. <laughs> Thank you. So here's every second of love, happiness, and excitement that this part of your life as Mrs. Heslop is going to bring you. Everyone, please raise your glasses. And toast to this incredible love story we're celebrating today. To Lauren and Kyle. God gives us his picture of marriage in the first book of the Bible captured in a single word, oneness. A oneness that can only be experienced in marriage. Great lives and great marriages are made out of service and sacrifice. There's no more me and my, it's now we and our. But if there's one thing that I know about your relationship, it's that it's rooted and established in love. Today is your day. Mm -hmm.